these animals? What? What kind of animals are these? They're not fairy magic. Like, what are those? And there's a monster who is basically a vending machine. Like, what is this? Like, seriously. What are these? Like, it was never explained at all. Like, what are these? Why am I asking these questions? I mean, seriously, I completely skipped the crocodile plot, and then we cut to this. Sorry for the pause. I got nothing. Like I said, I got nothing for this show. But trust me, lay on this list, you're gonna figure out why I have so much problems with this show. Just you wait. Let's get into the Quarko plot. He doesn't react for fairies in this episode. I'm not making this up. I don't know if I'm just missing any episodes, but he isn't reacting to Cosmo and Wanda at all. Like, seriously. They have different colors, so... Very our parents, quote, maybe? Ugh. Let's just get to the ending. When Timmy and Chloe completely confronted Chloe's parents, they just don't have a problem with it. Like... They don't even react that they're ashamed of taking Chloe's animals. Like, seriously. Oh my god, look. I'm just gonna let this out of the way. I got no opinion on Chloe. Why? Because I really don't care about her. All I care about is her parents. Seriously, I mean, why would Chloe's parents completely steal Chloe's Pets. Just why? You see what this does to me? It just makes me completely furious and confused at the same time. I literally got nothing to say because everything is dysfunctional. It comes to the point where the wires don't know what to write anymore. Ugh. I have no idea why this show is still on the air. And also for the jokes, they're really poor. So poor. There's a joke where Cosmo is completely talking to his reflection. I'm not kidding. I got nothing to say. Uh, could you put face palm for no effort anymore? Anyway, let's move on. Number six. Lights out. Now, one of my subs said that the last entry is scary. Well, let me tell you this. This episode is just unnecessary. I know that this is a proof episode, but it's just done so brutally. Look, I know that Timmy is reading scary stories to proof, but... Oh my god. Guess what Cosmo and Wanda do? They completely made the entire... War with no lights at all in order to scale Timmy. Look, the issue is with the model, and that model is to never scale little kids too much. Otherwise, it will backfire on you. The issue with that is, is that they completely take it way too far by intentionally trying to eat Timmy. I'm not making anything up. This is serious. I mean... <sighs> Willy Cosmo, Wanda, I mean... If this was all a dream, this episode would not be on the list. But... Seriously? You really want to scare Timmy Tunnel by eating him? I know they're not trying to eat him, but... It made it so real. And most of this episode just contains of jump scares and awful design faces. Ugh. I really hate the facial expressions in this show now. I really do. Oh my god. This didn't make me refuse to sleep. It just makes me want to fall asleep even more by watching this. Let's continue because I really want to end this as quickly as possible. 
Number five, Philly Up Pet. You guys probably expected this episode to be on the dysfunctional list, and for so many reasons. I really hate this episode a lot. It's one of the most least favorite episodes that anyone should ever watch. People say that they hate Poof. Well, let me tell you this. Sparky is even more worse. Oh my god. Sparky is completely annoying in this episode and throughout season 9. Ignore the plot completely unoriginal that it just takes the ideas from Fairy Art Baby. Sparky is just completely out of his mind a lot. And most of this episode contains a lot of rules breaking. The, the rules breaking in a very bad way. And I hate it. I have nothing to say about this episode except... Everyone hates Sparky. And I hate Sparky as well. Anyway, let's get into the scenes when it's the most infamous. When Timmy and Sparky are flying in the plane, Timmy is the only one who needs a parachute, and since Sparky cannot die, he doesn't need a parachute. And guess what? Sparky completely takes the only parachute from the plane, which means that Timmy is almost close of dying. Willie? You see why the people really hate Sparky? Even when they try to do a very sad and emotional scene, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't. And I really hate everything about this episode. It's not fun. It's boring, it's annoying, and it's just obnoxious. It came to the point where everyone just doesn't care about this show anymore. Especially season 10, where they changed the intro and changed everything, and now... They're in Nicktoons. I'll get into more on that later. For right now, let's keep continuing because we have four more episodes left. Number four. Vicky gets fired. Oh boy. Well, my subs really did a very great request on this because I have a lot to say about this episode. It's like Channel Chasers. But even an atrocity and just a very bad reason why this seasonal one error should have never exist. My god. I'll get into the Vicky thing later. For right now, let's get into Timmy's parents. Because it is at its worst. Even more worse than Proof's play date. Remember in Channel Chasers when Timmy's parents are completely shocked of what they saw Guess what? When they saw this, the reaction, Vicky playing dungeon with Timmy falling. In case of you haven't heard that, that was like a troop of face palm with both hands on my face, which means that's an eighth face palm. Oh my god. Really? Why those? Why? Seriously? Unbelievable. Really unbelievable and very immature. And guess what? They did it again. When they see this, the reaction is... What do I have to say? Just listen to this. Screw you to Timmy's parents, and I'm not being offensive, I'm serious, screw you to death, oh my god, and the only reason of how they completely fired Vicky is because of the tape that Vicky completely erased, really, I get it, that tape is very important, but you know what's very important, your son! Anyway, when mom and dad completely fire Vicky, we get to one of our major problems with this episode, and that is Vicky. Now, we can all know that Vicky is a completely out of her mind in all your seasons. However, her execution was fine for what it is. All she ever does is just watch TV. 
the reason why Timmy got his fairy godparents is because of Vicky. And that is one of the reasons why Channel Chase is one of the best things from the show. However, with this episode, they made Vicky completely in the wrong. And trust me, I really despise this episode. If, if I ever made a list of how bad these episodes are to the point where I really despise and wish they never existed, this will be in the top three. And I'm not making this up. Now, here's the issue with this. Vicky does pretty bad things in jobs. Really, Vicky? <sighs> Seriously, Vicky doesn't have hobbies like this before season six. She doesn't. It's pathetic. In fact, it's very immature. In fact, you would go to jail from doing this kind of stuff. And guess what? When she becomes president, Thades just gets even more worse. She completely makes Dimsdale a disaster. And when Timmy tried to stop it, guess what? Oh my god. You pretty much want to turn down your volume really low. Trust me, you really do. I know I don't yell most of the times, but trust me, I'm going to yell very loud. When Timmy wishes that Vicky wasn't president, Vicky just goes somewhere else. And more havoc causes. I'm not kidding. They literally did this. Seriously. And guess what? When Timmy wishes that wish again, oh. Vicky completely strikes back again, just with no seconds later. Just after that wish, it just happens. Okay, here's my quote to Vicky. What is your problem? There you go. This is the most stupidest and most idiotic thing I have ever seen from this show. Like, come on. When Wanda says there's no other job, <laughs> Vicky's supposed to be in jail. Into very bad execution. Seriously. Oh my god. Vicky. In the earlier seasons, Vicky had her limits. But here, there's no limits. And it's so dysfunctional. I freaking hate this episode so much. It really does. I'm done. No, no, no. I'm done. I'm not talking about the ending. You pretty much know what the ending is. It's stupid. Seriously, I feel bad for Timmy. This is even more worse than Channel Chasers. Unlike Channel Chasers, which is actually a good movie, this episode... Awful. Vicky is just awful. If you're gonna make an episode like this, do it right! Oh. oh, wait, we have Channel Chasers. You'd rather watch that movie than this. Oh, oh my god. Vicky is psychotic. She is completely a psycho. Oh my god. Let's just continue on. We have three more left.